my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another spell for you guys this has been highly requested on my instagram um i know that we are living in very difficult times and let me take these gloves off i was actually cutting some chilies um, and i didn't want to get my uh you guys know the struggle women out there <laughs> or men too that get their nails done when we mess with um you know with uh with chili or any spices or anything like that it gets like underneath our nails and it's just horrible anyways uh like i was saying this has been highly requested on my instagram i know that we are living in very difficult and trialing times unfortunately a lot of people a lot of families are dealing with addictions and this is something that um i didn't really notice that i don't have many videos for addictions i know a while back uh, a few of you guys that have been following me for quite a while asked for a spell that was for alcoholism and I for some reason thought I had uploaded a video until one of my amazing followers, thank you so much love, and subscribers here on my YouTube uh, texted me and she was like, you know, I still have not seen it. And I was like, oh my God, I completely forgot. Anyways, I'm going to teach you guys basically how to do a spell that is very it's a very easy spell, but the ingredients are extremely powerful. And this is specifically for those that are dealing with alcoholism. Uh, if your husband, if your wife, uh, family member, someone that just is having a very difficult time, um, you know, keeping themselves away from, it's almost like alcoholism has consumed their life and they are in this spiral um, you know, snowball effect, uh, which unfortunately that's what all addictions do, um, then this spell is for you. Like I said, it's very simplistic. If you're wanting to do this, primarily this is to be done for other people, not for ourselves. Can we do it on ourselves? Absolutely. If you have some type of, um, some type of addiction with alcohol and it's something that you want to keep in check, you can always do this for yourself. However, it does, um, I find it to be extremely much more powerful when we do it to assist someone. So as an example, they've tried to quit, they've tried to put in the work and they just keep falling into this habit. Uh, I find that it is much greater and grander results um, when they know in them that they need to bring a stop to this addiction. Um, even if, like I said, if they've tried and they keep failing at it, um, I feel that it takes stronger hold on them uh, when they've acknowledged at some point that it was an issue, uh, regardless if they are in denial now, but at some point that there was an acknowledgement of that, it just becomes much more stronger. Like I said, very simplistic. All you really need is, um, so you're going to need a beer or whatever alcohol it is that they prefer. So as an example, if it's a whiskey, if it's a, you know, tequila, uh, vodka, whatever it is, their preferred drink, then that's what you're going to be using. Uh, for this one, I'm going to be doing it for two, uh, two people uh, that have, uh, it's a very toxic energy. It's a very toxic um, relationship, really, that has affected both of them. So I'm going to be using this for both. Uh, if it is a couple, as an example, if it is for your daughter, your son, and they have a partner that has the same issues, you can do this for multiple people. However, it has to be a, dy a dynamic. Uh, so like I said, if you're doing it for uh, three different people and they are not related in any shape, way, or form, then you would have to do uh, a beer each or a spell for each one. Um, for this situation, I'm doing both of them because it is a union. It is a couple. So um, just wanted to put it out there. Okay. So what you're going to need is, like I said, any of their preferred drinks. Uh, for them, it is beer. So we're going to be using beer. Of course, I had to cover it. <laughs> um, we're not promoting anything. So uh, I just covered this, but it is their preferred drink. You're also going to be needing holy water. Now, it could be consecrated, ritualized water. It could be moon water as well, uh, but it does, has, it, it, it does has to be consecrated or ritualized water. Like I said, I'm going to be using uh, holy water. Uh, 
And I'm also going to be using some of the consecrated water that I use um, for, uh, that I ritualize. So I'm going to be using both of them. Again, if you don't have holy water or there's no way for you to go uh, to a church or anything like that, you can always consecrate your own water on the next new moon or full moon. Um, so that's what we're going to be using. And you're also going to be using some chili flakes. So it could be any type of chili flakes, preferably uh, this really spicy ones, the ones that, uh, you know, as as you break it, you kind of feel the need to sneeze. Uh, those are the ones that have very strong um, spices in it. And that's exactly what we want. Um, next, what you're going to be needing is a strip of white paper for each individual that you're doing this for. So again, like I said, if you're doing it just for a simple or one single person, then you would only need their first name and the last name. Does it empower if you have their date of birth? Absolutely. However, if you don't have it, you just need their first name and last name. That's all you really need. Um, now, you can use a black pen or you can use a black marker. For this specific spell, I prefer to use the pen. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. And like I said, it is very simplistic. All you really need is these ingredients. Um, I would ideally do this either at the cusp of the full moon when the moon is waxing, when it's growing, or at the, no uh, sorry, at the dark moon when the uh, full moon has just passed because we u often use these type of spells uh, for banishment to remove something from our life. Um, so what I'm going to be doing this now as we're getting or drawing closer to uh, the waxing moon, the growing moon, it's going to be empowered uh, once the, this is a nine day ritual, once the nine days are over, I'm going to be recasting it again to empower it and also to make sure to almost land when the moon is dark, the dark moon, meaning after the full moon has passed so that it can completely empower and uh, completely banish and remove uh, this habit, this addiction, okay? All right, my lovelies, like I said, it is extremely simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to get yourself a white strip of paper. You're going to be writing down their first and last name. Like I said, if you have their date of birth, it is preferred. Why? Because we're able to completely direct the energy towards this target. It just gives you grander results, okay? So you're going to need their first and last name, their date of birth. Once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to roll it. So you can roll it or fold it however you prefer. It doesn't really matter. Um, the way I do it is just roll it away from me. Like this. So let me get the real ones and do this really quick. And like I said, I roll them away from me you're gonna get uh, the beer make sure to uh, make sure to uh, get some of the beer out so it's not completely full so that you can put the remaining of the ingredients in the bottle so I'm going to be dropping the first name in here okay then I'm going to be getting the second one And I'm going to be dropping it in here again. Okay. Once we're done with that, what we're going to do now is we're going to be taking some of the holy water. And we're going to be pouring some holy water into the beer. I'm not sure if you guys can see. You don't need very much. Um, you don't need very much of the holy water, okay? And now I'm going to be adding some of the consecrated water that we use. Then you're going to be adding the chili flakes. When you're doing this, make sure to set the intention of why you're doing this, the reason for it. Um, try to visualize them in a much more healthier environment.
and I really don't necessarily put very much of the chili flakes but I do make sure to get some in there because this is what's going to make them every time uh, that they're taking a sip of their preferred drink it's not going to taste like it would normally taste it's going to gross them out it's going to make them sick to their stomach they're not going to understand why they're feeling this way um, but the more they drink the more their body is refusing uh, to keep it to keep it in you know what i mean so most of the experiences um, that I've heard from clients is they start you know throwing up a lot they just they just don't like it they can't they can't keep it down um, it just makes them really sick until they little by little realize that they've either grown out of it or they just they just can't they figure out that they just can't drink no more okay all right so as you guys can see here, we have the the names, the chili flakes, the holy water is in here, the consecrated ritualized water is in here as well. Let me get some of these. And like I said, this is a nine day ritual. So every day, every single day for the nine days consecutively, you're going to keep this in a dark place or in your altar, wherever it is that you keep your workings. And what you're going to do is you're, every time that you come towards, uh, towards the bottle, you're going to put your hands on it and you're going to say, you're going to ask, every time you drink, you will feel disgust. Every time you try to use this as an escapism, you will come to the realization that you no longer need this. You will completely remove it from your life to better your life, to guide you, to make you stronger. You're coming out of this wiser understanding that drinking is not for you. Okay, so you're going to do this for nine days. You're going to put your hands over the bottle and you're going to uh, you're going to say that chant while covering the top of the bottle and shaking it. You hear that? That's the gas. So you can see here, let me turn it. You can see it. You can see the, the, the gas and you're going to shake it every single day for nine consecutive days. You're going to keep it in your altar or in a dark place. Do not disturb it. Only when you're going to it to put your hands over it and do the chant and say make sure to state that every single time they take a sip they're going to feel disgust i guarantee you guys that if you do this and really put the intention that you're doing this not as a way to suppress or remove anything in their life that is unwanted for them but that it's coming out from a loving place because you're doing this for their higher purpose you will get results, you guys. You will start to notice that they start to either little by little start to pull away from this, stop drinking. It could be a process depending on how long they've been doing this for. But again, you will start to notice. And if they're around you when they're drinking, you're going to start to notice that every time they drink, they get really sick. Like they get really sick to their stomach. Like I said, there's a lot of throwing up in the process. Um, and again, this is because of the chili. It is, it, it's almost like it becomes very irritable to their stomach. Um, and little by little, you'll start to notice them change. You'll start to notice them. Even, you know, if they are around other people that happen to have the same issue or just casually want to go out and drink, uh, they will choose to not drink because they don't want to feel that sick. Um, and little by little, they're able to overcome that addiction. Like I said, it is a nine day ritual. You're going to do this every single day for nine days. You're going to put your hands over the bottle and you're going to chant and you're going to shake the bottle and with the intention of saying every single time they take a sip, they will feel disgust. 
uh, again, like I said, doing it from a loving place, doing it from a place of wanting the best for them, and you will start to notice the changes within them. It is. It may seem very simplistic. Uh, holy water and consecrated water. You are pretty much blessing them. You're anointing their, you know, their spirit, and you're asking as well to their spirit guides or to their guy, uh, to their guides and ancestors to step in and to assist. Obviously, they're there to help us on this path that we call life. And they want nothing but the best for you. So they will definitely assist you in this process of help helping them overcome these issues. I hope that this gives you amazing results. If you try it out, come back and comment below on the video. Let others know uh, what your experience was. Again, uh, thank you guys so very much. Don't forget to, to subscribe to our channel so that you can get notified uh, the next videos coming soon. We have a ton of new videos a ton of new spells coming up, tons of readings. Uh, so thank you guys very much. I hope you guys enjoy and we'll see each other soon. Bye.